Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do the swing false cut. Now the swing false cut I'm sure you've seen before on Miss Maggie22's channel. It's a very nice looking cut, three packet false cut. It was actually the first false cut I came across and I was instantly hooked onto it and I'm sure a lot of you would agree it's a very nice looking cut and it looks pretty deceptive. So what does the false cut look like? Well, he does it in a left-handed grip and I learned it in the right hand. It took a while, but I'm gonna show you a performance and tutorial of it. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get right into it. This is the swing false cut right there. Let's do it one more time. Okay, and let's talk about how to do it. So this, um, as you know by the name, swing cut, a swing cut is basically doing this. If you haven't seen a tutorial on the swing cut, check it out. Okay, I'll put a link in the description box. That's a swing cut. So using your index finger to hook over a portion of cards and putting the rest on top. The swing false cut incorporates a little more and is a little more complicated. So you're going to start off by holding the cards in a middle grip. So that means your thumb on the bottom right corner, your ring finger on the top edge of the deck, and your middle finger a little over than half, just like that. So your three fingers on top like that. Your pinky can just you know go on the side of the deck. Your index is starts off right next to the middle finger. So now what you're going to do is cut off about a third of the cards because this is a three packet cut. So you're going to cut off about a third. Then you're going to swing it over and capture it between your thumb and your index finger, just like that, right in the crotch there. So once you swing it over, you capture it and then you pull out, pull out, and now you can readjust it so the packet falls into a natural mechanics grip. Now you're gonna swing off half of the cards, remaining cards in your hand, once again. And here's where it gets a little interesting. You're gonna lift up your ring finger here of your right hand, and you're gonna come over, raise your left thumb, and put it in between these two packets like that, okay? Then you're gonna come in and put this, jam this middle packet or the bottom packet of the right hand into the crotch there, just like that. You're gonna take your ring finger right here and clamp down while with your thumb as well, just like that. So your thumb is holding this packet with the ring finger. So now you should be in this position and your thumb is right in between there. Then you're gonna clamp down on the middle packet, okay? So you're gonna clamp, close the fingers, but pull out the middle packet and the middle finger here of the right hand can release. So now you have uh, another packet in the mechanics grip the middle packet, and then these two packets are held by the ring finger and the index finger. And your thumb is still holding these two packets. Finally, the last step is you're gonna turn your right hand palm up, well, not really palm up, but thumb up, and your left hand is gonna come over, take the index finger, and contact the lower left edge of the top packet like this, okay? Then what you're gonna do is, what I like to do now is transfer this index finger to the middle finger like that. And then I'm gonna swivel the packet, I'm gonna contact the corner, and then start twisting, 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 and then it falls, oops, oops, hard to do slowly, just like that, and then put the rest on top. So let's go over that again. Sorry about that. Uh, so you swing, let's do this quite like this, clamp down, you're gonna twist over, I like to transfer it to the middle finger now. Twist both hands up, index finger contacts the left corner, you twist, capture the cards in the left hand, and put the rest on top. So let's go over this one more time. Uh, once again, middle grip like this. You're going to take your index finger, put it on the top corner, or not the corner, but next to your middle finger. Swing off a third, clamp down with your ring and thumb, uh, sorry, not ring, index and thumb, clamp down on it and pull apart and let it fall into mechanics grip. Then you're going to uh, swing another third or half of those remaining cards um, and then you're going to transfer this packet to your ring finger like that or no sorry you're going to keep it on a middle finger and then capture this packet with the ring finger so you put your thumb in between these packets and you clamp it with your ring finger just like that and then take this middle packet out so now you're holding these two packets with your thumb then you turn over Take your index finger, put it on the lower corner, and I like to transfer this to the middle finger. Twist, twist along the third finger, let it fall, rest goes on top. And that is the swing false cut. I hope you enjoyed this cut. I know I do. It's a great looking cut as well. And it's false, it's completely false. Four of hearts on the bottom, and five of spades on the top. And if we do the cut, 
the four of hearts is still on the bottom, five of spades still on top, everyone's happy. That is the gut. Thank you for watching. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys next time.